Hi, this is Sweet Life and I'm Natasha, back at it with a review and discussion of The Born Identity. It's not enough for me for an action movie to have a lot of explosions and special effects. I need to have good, decent, if not good acting, and then for the storyline to make some kind of sense. Very far-fetched, ridiculous stories are not really my cup of tea. I'm not super into like fantasy or sci-fi and I don't like watching action movies where it's just a lot of explosions, a lot of action, but no real story. In the case of The Bourne Identity, which is the first movie in a trilogy of Bourne films, I feel like it checks the right boxes in the sense that there's certainly action in the movie, there's a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat, there's high-speed chases, espionage, which I love, but there's also this pretty interesting story. So basically, you have this character Jason Bourne, portrayed by Matt Damon, um, who is an agent in the CIA. And the story starts off with him being found adrift at sea, unconscious. A passing vessel picks him up and rescues him. But when he comes to, he's confused about who he is, where he's from, all this kind of stuff. He sustains some injuries, but we kind of pick up with him being out in the middle of the ocean, in the middle of nowhere, because he doesn't know how he got there. He doesn't know who he is. He doesn't know how he ended up out in the middle of the ocean and he's got these injuries but he does have some items with him which kind of give some idea not necessarily who he might be but can function as some clues to help him figure out who he is and it's kind of like another layer to the story in the sense that usually with espionage type movies much of the film is spent trying to find someone or figure something out this is also the case with police procedurals. The Bourne identity is him trying to figure out who Bourne is. And so it's like action, espionage, pretty much of that nature. Usually in action or espionage films of this nature, much of the story is about the protagonist trying to find someone, trying to find something, trying to figure out, you know, some kind of cool whatever it is, responding to some kind of incident, something along those lines. In the case of Jason Bourne, he's trying to figure out who he is, but then there's still like this broader story of trying to figure out like where he came from, what was he doing? Because eventually he does come to realize that he's some kind of an agent, that he's not your average citizen. And one of the ways that this becomes evident, which is something that's actually pretty cool, is that early on in the film when he comes to, he doesn't really know who he is, but he has this like underlying sixth sense of sorts, this subconscious training that allows him to get the lay of the land, look at a room, size people up. And it's like, he's very, very capable at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Like he can handle himself very well. Also with a gun, he has like really good aim. So it's like, obviously he has experience with these things. He's very physically fit, very physically capable beyond the norm. And so with that, you have some indication that He's not like your average citizen. And it's something that unfolds within really just minutes of the start of the movie. Where sure, he's been found adrift at sea. He doesn't really know who he is. But quickly upon being saved and coming to, while he's confused about where he is, he's immediately able to defend himself, right? Or he shows himself as being capable of defending himself. This gives way to him trying to figure out who he is, trying to figure out how he ended up in this situation. And so from there, it turns into, in a sense, like this scavenger hunt, right? This hunt for clues, him finding one clue that leads to to another and picking up bits and pieces along the way, picking up clues to tell him more about who he is. It's a really cool movie because certainly you have action. There's several scenes of of hand-to-hand -hand combat, him fighting bad guys and whatnot. There's high-speed chases, shootouts, but you have this underlying story of him trying to figure out who he is and where he came from. And what he quickly finds is that number one, he finds that he has like all of these passports with varying identities. Obviously, it's his picture in all of the passports, but slightly different names and identities. He has money in different currencies. I believe like he visits um, the Swiss bank or something like that. But it's some kind of bank where he has a safe deposit box. And it's like there's all of these passports, ID cards, different currencies. There's a gun, all this other kind of stuff where as a normal person, 
you probably wouldn't be carrying this stuff around. You wouldn't have possession of this kind of stuff. You know, if you found like one ID, you would think, okay, you know, well, this is who I am. But now you've been confused by having some sort of, let's say, amnesia. And here you find this cluster of different documents that all contain your picture, but slightly varied identities. It might lead to you asking more questions. And so in this case, it leads to a question of, well, why do I have all this stuff? Because who would have all these forms of identification? Maybe a scammer, maybe some kind of like secret agent or something like that. And so with that, he starts to piece little things together along the way. He meets a young woman while trying to escape because another thing that contributes to him kind of figuring out his identity is that people are out to get him. Why? Because it becomes evident that there's some force or agency or what have you searching for him, trying to find him. And so it's another thing that points to him not being your average everyday citizen. He ends up pulling this woman into his orbit simply because he needs a ride out of town and offers her some money, right, to give him a ride, which she does. But it then pulls her into this whole situation that he has going on. There's this additional, like, love story to some degree of him now feeling protected towards this woman, him coming to care about her, you know, some degree of guilt as a result of unwittingly drawing her into his situation and feeling somewhat protective over her. He's brought her into this confusion that is now his life and feels some responsibility to take care of her, to see to her safety. You have things going on on several different levels. With the typical espionage movie, the action hero is, you know, there's some trying to foil some villain's plot, trying to recover some object, recover a person or whatever it is. But here, Jason Bourne is trying to recover his identity. He's trying to figure out who he is. And it's a story that plays out over the first movie. The first movie is certainly a good standalone film, but you watch the first movie and it serves as a good segue into the second and third. Where sometimes with sequels and trilogies, it's like the first one would be really good and then the follow-up is kind of mm, not so, not quite as great. You know, it's obvious that the filmmakers are really just trying to capitalize on the success of the first movie and a lot of times they fail to live up to the potential of that first movie. But in the case of the Bourne trilogy, I feel like the first movie is great, but the other two movies really just build in that story and it makes for an enjoyable journey over the course of the three films. I love movies like this where they're very fast paced, you have a lot of action going on, but at the same time, there's still a good story underlying the movie. And the acting is pretty good because sometimes action films, it's like there's so much attention paid to things happening on screen that like the actors and actresses sometimes aren't that great. And it can kind of take away from the movie or like the story just doesn't make sense. But that's not the case here. I think this is an action movie that really checks a lot of boxes and is incredibly enjoyable. It's a movie that like I watch, I know what's going to happen. I've seen it multiple times, but I still enjoy watching it time and time again. I remember a few years ago, I watched it and this was before I was planning to do a review, but I remember watching it and my mom happened to be watching as well. And she got sucked into the movie and she really enjoyed it. So it's a movie that I think you can pick up and most people, as long as you like action movies and things like that, I think you'd enjoy it. There's a lot going on here, but it's a movie that's easy to follow. You know, it's like just the right balance of different elements and they all combine to make a really enjoyable movie and one that I highly recommend. Thanks for tuning in. To ensure you don't miss any episodes, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and check out my movie review playlist. Go ahead and click the thumbs up button if you like what you saw and go ahead and share it on social media.